What's going on guys, Captain Poppy here. Welcome back to me chatting about OPTC 10th anniversary version 14, 14, 14. It is here coming very, very soon. I got the unmade bed in the back. I just finished work for the day. But before we get started, I just want to point out one little thing here. Uh, I apologize. I tweet a lot. Uh, if you don't like it, you can unfollow me. That's fine. <laughs> or, or you can, you know, mute me or whatever it is. That's cool too. Uh, but I do want to point out this lovely gift made by Brandon, aka Tingoki. Make sure you follow Brandon. Make sure you go follow Stump as well. Um, I like tweeting. I like tweeting shit. I like talking about like what I'm thinking about, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we're not here for that. Uh, we're here for the 14.0 video. Now, look, I've watched this video twice now. I've tried to like conceive of a lot of like potential ideas and things that they want to do going forward. Um, so we're just gonna kind of grind this video i'm not going to watch it at verbatim i'm kind of just going to give you my thoughts and opinions on the video in its own regard regard can't even speak today regard uh two things though first thing i want to say production value is going way up i'm very impressed by that factor of things i think that that's genuinely incredible from from bandai's behalf second thing i want to point out is i and that is a very tinfoil hat theory so follow me in that journey put your hats on I think there might have been a reorg or a reshuffle or a change in management or a change in production stuff. I mean, we're obviously aware of the whole Yoshi saga, but I think even higher up potentially saying that for OPTC and how the game's been approached, um, it just feels as if the game has this fresh coat of paint and there's a bunch of new people working on it. And I think that this video is very evident of the case. First thing you'll, uh, you'll see with this video is that it is voiced. Second thing, it is 10 minutes long. And I think that that's definitely something that is should be kudos to obviously the Bandai staff and, and what they're doing here. So fingers crossed, uh, 10th anniversary in its own regard produces a lot of hype and a lot of excitement. But without further ado, let's just get through this video. I don't care. Finally it's finally here, here guys. All right. I'm just going to go on this video here. First thing, we have character slots. I mean, this is just part of the course. People have wanted more character spaces for a very, very long time. And I think later on in this video, it does mention that we're going to get a total of 12,000 characters. 12,000, Jesus. 1,200 character slots added, added in two batches. Ironically, the funny part is the reason why they're adding them in two batches is because of the previous data issues and server issues that they had. So this kind of gives them a bit a bit more leeway. This is fantastic. Adding in more character space means more more room to hold dupes. Um, newer, newer players will get, I think like they're going to start with like over 2000 box space now come summer time, uh, which is really, really good. Um, so uh, we can look forward to this is awesome. And... This actually is a good thing with how dupes are now very important for uh, the new luck system that's coming into the game for the co-op mode, which we'll see a little later in the video here. Uh, I'll just mute the video there. Um, there we go. Please allow us to split opportunity. Official release. Official release of co-op quest looks dope. We're very excited. Here the quests, which change, and you. But the adjustments made following the. These are the adjustments that they've made. Uh, for Cop Quest, uh, in terms of based on our feedback, matchmaking systems and improved play time. Uh, play time limits an interesting one here that I didn't really think about at the very start. The match, the improvements of matchmaking, we'll see later on in the video. But play time limits are very interesting. I wonder if this is going to like time out users that aren't actually interacting with the mode, or if you have to do your certain uh, your certain specials or tapping within a certain time frame. That's pretty cool. Uh, the method of communication is great. Stickers is cool. I, ho I hope the stickers include things like user special or like tap this unit or that kind of stuff. That'd be pretty dope. Um, improvements to standby. I mean, that's just network engineering stuff. And then uh, uh, call information expanded to show your partner's status. That's pretty cool too. Try the player's room or this part we will watch we though because there's a lot of things to point out here. But them adding in a room like a matchmaking room to co-op completely changes the game we were all so scared or concerned because co-op is now going to be you create a team to verse content in the trial quest it was you have a team that they've given you and you try to defeat the quest using that team now it's based upon a team that you as a user as a player build and 
This is great because it does provide a lot of uh, creativity options, but it also can be a very daunting thing because if you don't have the right team to go up against the content, maybe opponents might leave, maybe opponent, uh, not opponent, sorry, maybe friends might leave or people you match with like are going to be questioning why you bring certain units and stuff. Um, so it kind of goes both ways, but having matchmaking is an awesome little feature, but we will watch this section of the video in its entirety. Started by creating a room, joining another player's room, or entering matchmaking. Excellent feature this there. This time, the player... So what I want to see, because it's highlighted right now, there's a lot of things to point out. Um, detailed rules. What could details ru rules mean? Uh, detail Detailed rules could mean... It follows the rumble system where units are buffed or debuffed every single cop quest. Maybe you certain units are banned from being played. Maybe certain units are promoted when being played. Cult with your ally. Uh, this is to create the room, obviously, and uh, and that kind of stuff. Your crew, so the team you're using, cop captain. We'll see a little bit of that later. Um, but one thing you have to see here: the grand feast stones owned. Notice here that it is a green gem. We'll keep that in the back of your mind when we continue on. Here. What seems to be five different levels of difficulty? Uh, so apprentice, captain, warlord, emperor, and then king of the pirates difficulty. Uh, you also earn a different amount of gems per per difficulty. So it's going from one to three at max. Uh, and also the amount of battles is is different as well. So from three battles to five. Mind you, this is all under development stuff. So we don't know if these are for certain, but we'll have to play by you. But the big thing to bring up here is that it seems to be that this mode is based upon stamina. And from what we can gather is that if it's based upon stamina, I'm under the impression that you can just run this quest endlessly obviously there's the caveat of you're running it with a friend or with somebody else so you have to make sure that you line up with that but running this endlessly means you can grind out these stones i suppose and what i wanted to also point out as well is that this green stone obviously aligns with these green these green stones that you uh that you own and in a later image, we know that there's four different colors of stones, and then there will be four Grand Feast banners per year, essentially. So let that percolate a little bit, and we'll just continue on. Player on the right joins the room. When you create a room... This is fantastic. You can set objectives, you can join particular rooms, you can have it only your friends and alliances, or via passwords, you can directly pick people out, which you is awesome. You can set an objective and recruitment parameters. Create or join rooms that suit your objectives. If you want to play with a specific Very player, cool idea. you can set up- I love this. This is awesome. Um, reading up, obviously, you have the crew. Uh, damn, this, these homies got level level limit break. So they've got limit break expanded, rainbowed ass, kick, claw. Um, and you'll see here, there's this little section where it has the little chest and the number. That's your luck level. So only your captain's luck level matters here. We'll, we'll find a little bit more a little that. later here. The quest can be started once both players are ready. During the quest, you and your partner will take turns using specials and attacking enemies. Very cool. The enemy's HP and status changes will be the same for the party, so try to coordinate. Ah, there it is. I, I didn't notice that the first time. The enemy's HP and status changes um, will be the same for the party. So it seems as if uh, when it's your turn, you have 90 seconds to actually make an action or do something, which I think is fantastic. Um... In that regard, it's cool because if there's people that are going to be basically assholes and not want to play or they're going to like take their time or they're going to like lag out, you, at least you know that you are kind of protected. If you're trying to match up with randoms, um, you're kind of protected that you have this like 90 second like leeway window. And that kind of gives you the opportunity, like if you're playing with somebody online, you kind of have this opportunity to uh, discuss Okay, should I use a special here? What should I be tapping with? What's our approach? I want to hold on to these slots, etc., etc. Really cool little mechanic there. So try to coordinate with your ally as you play. In addition, two new features have been added in the two official co-op quest. The first feature is the co-op. This I'm a bit yeah about, and it's we get a bit more information a little later in it. But essentially, the way this works is when a particular unit is your captain they'll get a subset of 
co-op actions, they'll get a co-op special, and then, you know, Captain. different abilities and stuff. The co-op quest has its own dedicated feature for forming crews, and you can designate a character as co-op captain when yep. their co-op captain stats are unlocked. Yep. A character's co-op... This part is wild, by the way. A co-op captain's stats can be unlocked by raising them to level 150. This... It already... I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I know, obviously, the co-op actions and stuff are meant to be this added benefit on top of things to make running quests, obviously, easier. But this kind of, I guess, for lack of a better word, segregates players that you have a lot of players that do have pl characters at 150, but then you have a lot of players that don't. And those that don't are going to have a harder time clearing quests, potentially. Maybe not. I don't know for certain. But it does seem like that that's going to be the case. Co-op captain stats can be unlocked by raising them to level 150 or by using the... And then this is their caveat to all of that, is having these these tomes. So we'll have to wait and see how generous they are with these co-op tomes going forward. When a character is made the co-op captain, they switch to using co-op quest dedicated yep. specials, captain abilities, and special co-op actions. Co-op captain stats. This part is very interesting as well. So the fact that... Uh, it's based on their pirate rumble style. So if you guys remember, like every character obviously has like an attack, it's like attack, support, heal, uh, defense, and something else. I think it's like there's like five of them. Um, that's very interesting. That's, that's based, based on, the on their rumble type, style, class, and their pirate rumble style. All characters with the same type, class, or level have. I like this part. All characters with the same type, class, or level have the same co-op captain stats it gives it kind the of solves the issue stats, making of it easy to set a co-op making it easier like. as they've mentioned to actually find the a captain new feature is luck this is out of context optc in a bloody nutshell the other feature is luck it's not like we've been playing a gacha game for 10 years where the whole game is more or less based upon luck in its own regard but there's a lot to kind of get from this. So I'm going to let them play through Luck it and then we'll a have a discussion after. It only goes into effect when a character is set as co-op captain. Mm -hmm. The higher the character's luck, the greater the amount of rare rewards you get when clearing yep. a co-op quest. Luck can be boosted by leveling up the character and by using the new item Luck Drops. Luck Drops are So if you notice here a Luck Drops a Luck Drop a Luck Drop seems to raise the character's luck stat by 1. And from what we can see, we can use a hundred at a time. And that kind of leaves me the impression that the luck stat maxes at 100. Um, it also, what they don't mention in the video is that it also requires co-op medals to, to level up these things too. So you are kind of caveated by what is power up with level now the, this is something that stump and i had a discussion about if you have a character already at level 150 will they come out with max luck because it seems a bit weird to punish players that have characters at 150 that can't use the power up system to level up their luck obviously we're aware that luck drops um, level up by plus one. And from, from this image, mind you, under development, uh, feeding a duplicate levels your luck up by two. So if I already have my unit at level 150, level limit break five, maxed out entirely, do I still have to feed dupes into them? Is it going to retroactively get upgraded the same way that level limit break kind of functioned when it first came out? Who knows? A new reward that can be received from co-op quests. Boost your character's luck and go for even better rewards. When and here's where I brought up the idea of three, uh, four different colors, sorry. So it seems that clear the co every quest, season you're going to get a different Grand color Feast of gem. Stones. Grand Feast stones can be used. And it's going to be used, obviously, in this Sugar Fest. Grand now, this is very Sugar interesting. Fest. Point three, the Grand Feast Sugar next. Fest. Grand Feast. So it, it seems like the idea of the Grand Feast Sugar Fest is that you earn rewards and then you, you earn these gems or these stones and then you use the stones to pull essentially on the Grand Feast Sugar Fest. 
To go fest is a special recruit where you can get characters by using Grand Feast stones received from the co-op quest. Which is great. It's another checks. opportunity for players to acquire there characters will also be characters that, can um, that only be don't be from that aren't Grand used Feast from uh, gems. Clear. And then you also have you also have that element uh, back here where it's like uh, specific characters will only be obtained through the Grand Feast. So we're gonna have a new variant of pro potentially legend, most likely six star characters that are probably considered Grand Feast legends, which I'm gonna call them a Grand Feast Luffy, Grand Feast Momo, for example. Um, that's uh, that's gonna be a bit contentious if it's based upon luck, feast which it seems fast. is the case. So we'll have to wait and see. Up next is the the stock list. This is we are now we are now ranking based upon your luck, which is what it is. Mind you as well. So you can stock up to five multis uh, in your little stock list. And these multis are worth a certain amount of points. Then these points will translate to a ranking at the end of the month. You can still do more multis over time. We don't know how much multis costs. Obviously, the assumption will be 50 stones will be 11 characters. Um, and then you can pick and choose what multis that you want to keep. But you have to keep in mind that the stocked characters are the ones that you will claim at the end of every uh, Grand Feast season. So you have to now juggle this idea of, am I going to stock characters that are going to give me like units that I want? For example, a joke that I made is that Stump doesn't have quick Momo. So him getting this Grand Feast multi would be a massive win for him because it'd be a brand new legend. Or are you going to play it so you get more points for the for the ranking reward? So we are now essentially another ranking mechanic where we are ranking based upon how lucky you are. Which you could argue is a lot of what Treasure Cruise already is. But this is the most hilarious factor of things where we are essentially saying that we are ranking based upon how lucky you are as an individual. Stock list. You won't immediately receive that's a bit weird. From the Grand that, I mean, that's fine fest, in you itself. Can save up to five but saving the one saving the uh, to the ten multis, is, oh, sorry, five multis is great. Save characters based on the final result that you want to obtain the most. That's correct. You can retrieve all of your stocked characters following the end of the Grand Feast. I just hope that there's a grace period because I'm going to forget, and I'm sure everyone else is going to forget at some point in time. So I hope there's a grace period for you to actually go claim them and you're not like, go, 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 you got to claim them. Fast. This is your chance to obtain up to 55, 55 characters, characters though is once. quite so, decent. If you kind of extrapolate it, think of it as like, I mean, we'll see, we'll see the, I'll, 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 speak, I'll speak on it in this moment here. You also get grand I won't, I'll, I'll leave that point to a little later. Um, obviously again, these might not be, points may change, correct. Uh, but Assuming that you get a legend, it's going to be worth 7,000 points. You can see here as well that there's a total amount of points. This is probably the accumulated total over the stocked five multis. And then this total will put you into a rank. And then that rank will generate you, obviously, rewards based on that, ra that rank, which ironically is legend tickets. They specifically bring up alternating pens. The luck drops, which is great. These coins seem super valuable. So hopefully these coins also drop from co-op quests or you earn them similar similarly to how you earn berries from a quest and obviously gems as feast everyone points, desires them based too. on the rarity and category of the characters you obtained in the grand feast sugo fest in the grand fest ranking alternate pens luck drops rare items whatever get characters with high rankings to earn as many points as possible so obviously again it is the meme of get lucky and to rank high and receive as many rewards as possible the first co-op quest and so this is where i want to start bringing up things you will notice one thing if you look deeply enough may is jp anniversary or optc anniversary august is one piece day november is 0.5 anniversary so in this year it'd be 10.5 anniversary february is the global annie it is going to be structured based upon the four essentially the four major events going forward this one's a bit funky because the May one is only for one month. And then we jump straight into the June one. So 
if we can assume the coloring system, we're going to be earning one set of colored stones in May. And then come August, or so come June when we start the next event, we'll be earning a separate set of colored stones. So we have these four different banners that will take four different colored stones, I'm assuming, meaning that there is incentive to grind these events out. So you have lots of stones going forward to use in the in the upcoming events um and that's like a double-edged sword in the sense that it's gonna it seems like court mode is gonna be very obviously heavily based on if you have people available to come and grind the content with you i'm sure that there's gonna be situations where people are going to design teams where it's only like one person can clear it with their own specials um etc etc but you like it's a very this is a very interesting kind of structure of things and if co-op mode can be grind grinded infinitely or within the bounds of how much stamina you have then people are going to be able to farm the crap out of this and either min max the amount of points they're earning or get as many units as they desire or get the specific units that they desire I'm going to assume that each one of these Sugar Fests will have a different subset of units available. On top of that, what I wanted to talk about in terms of the 55 units, it, it's it's not the best, but I mean, getting a free 55 characters per month or per, or per, or per quarter, if we're going to speak it from a business perspective, is kind of interesting. But it seems like uh, Cobb Quest is going to last for three months, reset, last three months, reset, like, etc. etc. Grand Feast, which is kind of cool. Will be held in um, May. it's a new content, After it's a new way to acquire characters, new way to acquire materials, you know, that kind of type of stuff. Will be held about once every three months. Collect cool, cool. Grand Feast stones in the co op quest each month in preparation for the wow, Grand yes, Feast. Wow, yeah, Grand Feast. So, the first co op. So we're going to start on anniversary in a week later it's going to be the the grand the next grand feast will be on the 18th so a week after the co-op quest starts um whatever it is now let's get into this the 10th anniversary action specials new feature called brand new feature action not a lot special. being really spoken on it but it in seems that new special, it's going to be a tap prompt prompting during... system i made the joke that this is going to be similar to the i think it's called dokan mode where you tap in the little like z formation um this also looks very similar to like i don't know uh like a lot of like style games like final fantasy style games or xenoblade style games or like if you tap particular timing it hits things shout out the new podcast good great perfect excellent ggp uh is going to be retired for ggpe um look forward to that <laughs> um but yeah very interesting little system the animation when you also like I don't know, maybe Captain, a sorry, special action's going to function instead of specials. I don't know. Form it's very weird. Is it, it going to be a potential ability? Who effect. knows? The tap results include miss, good, great, perfect, and also excellent. Yep, that's fine. The better the result, the greater the special's effect. This is going to be interesting part. Plus, when the final scores of each use of the Captain's character action special total up to an excellent so result. Excellent their captain ability this is interesting so we're gonna have a whole new swath of characters get updated where if i hit an excellent their captain ability is going to change so potentially their number is going to go higher you could we could probably be seeing 7x captains at this point this now if boosted. you get excellences you probably like it's very want to interesting see what the animation this is just straight like, blue board from bandai why why bring that up yet. why bring that up at all more information Irrelevant. will be anyway whatever we move on detail. all right other updates friend missions no idea what this means. I have no idea what friend missions means at all. I think friend missions is the potentially the invite system that they're talking about here and improving that potentially, whatever. Well, that I don't know. We'll still have to wait and see. Friend slots being added is huge. People have been asking for more friends for a long time. I've been asking for more friends in my life for a long time, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, and then additional specials for current ships. That's a cool little thing here. Uh, we could see potentially the introduction of specials on ships that didn't have socials before or uh, specials just being more modernized for ships as well going yeah, forward. Yeah. But the problem with this part here is that it's going to require more super collar, which right now is a, a very bottlenecked mechanic as we get 
a maximum of like 20 to 25 per month at most, which just is not enough. Update. This ends the update announcement easier. I lo this part's very weird. We'll continue updating OPEXC to make gameplay easier. You should be making gameplay better, not easier. Treasure cruise anyway. Of each and every one. Thanks for your support, Zog. Zog, yeah, campaign, gratitude campaign for the 10 years of, of worth of gratitude to you guys. Oh, a 10 year streak login bonus. I mean, it is all right. We're going to get tab. We're going to get uh, gold tablets from it for the first three weeks, I guess. Bounty achievements, which we're going to find a, bit, a little bit later. A fucking ship. I don't care. And then a countdown sugar fest, which is just straight bait. Where you can. Uh, we know so far the first three weeks are going to give us like a certain amount of gems and we get a funnel tab, a rush and a super tandem tablet alongside those. Um, clear from what it seems, uh, excuse me, <sighs> alternating pens and um, lemon break posters as well from, the, from that, no which is fine. Items. Cool, cool, whatever. Uh, the bounty achievement uh, stuff is now more prevalent. I think we're already aware of like how this is going to work, but it seems, at least from the images, S rank is going to end at the Lilith and Bonnie release, which means there's actually a decent amount of new units that kind of fall underneath that that kind of structure, which is pretty good. Um, but I mean, either way, like uh, it's kind of irrelevant. It's good for new players, good for players looking for level limit break. I mean, I think I can benefit quite a bit from it in terms of level limit break, but I know people, again, like, end game players are not gonna really benefit too much from these tickets at all total bounty achievement gift with Sugo. the result of time i don't really care so coming um what? look i'm gonna keep it a stack with you this i don't give two fucking shit i don't care at all the only thing that could make the shit better is if it dupe drops you know but i mean for me as as a player I don't care about special charge to max. I don't care about 1.7 attack. I don't care about easy purpose. I don't care about boosted berries and 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 exp. Um, this is kind of peculiar. Having like abilities will change for a limited time when anniversary starts. Um, like what are you gonna really do there? Are you gonna make it do something like oh 10x XP? It's like that's cool, but it's like for a lot of players this doesn't really do much. I hope that's. I mean, it's very tinfoil hat theory, but I do hope that this is uh it dupes drops somehow i doubt it but we'll have to wait and see lead up to the 10th um we've already talked about, I, I haven't talked about this on my channel because i don't do videos but vegapunk's coming as a kizuna legend he is a kizuna exclusive legend anniversary biggest mistake they could have possibly made in my opinion uh, a big problem countdown single fest uh it's, it's bait and if beggars can't be choosers, I understand that. But giving out only 30 gems is kind of a wash. Especially because the Kazuna banner coming up, it's first multi is 50 gems. Like, at least give out 50 gems for the value of a multi. Um, look, end of the day, like, let's... I think that's the rest of the video. Uh, I've kind of spoken about everything I need to speak about. Um, version 14.0 looks to be really, really, really exciting. Like really exciting um co-op quest looks to be awesome but it now all comes down to how co-op quest is handled how they handle it going forward how fun it is um etc etc how good the rewards are on top of that we have just 10 uh, uh 10th annie what's sugar fest going to be like what are the characters going to be like action specials the new mechanic this year how's that going to play into things is that going to be a potential ability is that going to be embedded in, in, in abilities themselves um i think totski made a really good point of we've only had sugo rush or rush sugo for a year now yeah we've only had a very minute amount of characters actually receive that ability so my fingers are crossed that action special is not a potential ability and it's just embedded in characters so we don't have to kind of uh pull for duplicate characters to kind of get the benefit of action special um that's it i mean i've been here for 30 minutes almost that's kind of my thoughts on this whole entire letter i think like i want to regurgitate from what i said at the very beginning i think that there has definitely been a shake-up in the optc team uh, optc team yes that's correct um i definitely think we've got a whole new production staff we've definitely got a whole new um community community management staff 
I still think, I assume that I haven't checked, but I, I'm assuming Dracom is still the, the development team for, for Treasure Cruise. Um, but it definitely feels as if that a lot of the produc production staff have kind of changed. And that probably includes Yoshi as well. Um, and I think that they want to keep it under wraps and just un and kind of keep it as we are the OPTC team, which I'm all for if we keep getting this quality of transparency and interaction. I mean, if we look at Co-op Quest alone, the feedback that we provided kind of overhauled the entirety of Co-op Quest, it seems, where we have a matchmaking room, we can play with friends, they've added communication features, they've added a timeout um, and that kind of stuff. So we'll have to wait and see. But let me know down in the comment section down below uh, what you guys think and also subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I don't really make videos that much, if ever, uh, but I, I do appreciate the support nonetheless and go sub to GGP. Uh, you know, I'd appreciate that too. With that being said, I'll be Captain Puppy. That's been the 10th anniversary uh, OPTC team later version 14.0. And we'll chat you guys later. Peace.